Welcome to The Real Spill, man. We got a crazy story out of Miami, Dave, Florida, of all places again, man, where a 37-year-old high school coach, man, uh, he was feeling a little lonely. It was Valentine's Day, and, uh, you know, he's been a coach at this charter school out in suburban Miami for about three or four years, and, uh, you know, sometimes uh, he uh, he does a little recognizing with the kids, okay? Now, it's Valentine's Day, and uh, he is in class, and he approached two students that he seen from afar. They were, you know, they were lovey-dovey, and they were kissing on each other, and, um, you know, he approached these two students, all right? And they're both 16 years old, a male and a female, and he started, you know, coming at him with all these lewd gestures and you know they kind of you know they're horny they're young and they're horny and they're like all right you know what's going on so he offered to uh take them to a empty classroom where they can do it okay is the words that he said okay so you know the kids are like all right yeah all right, cool you know what i mean let's do it you know what i mean so they go to the classroom, and they get inside of the classroom, and they say, yeah, you guys, you know, go ahead and do what you do, and there's a two-way window, okay, a two-way glass window uh, in the classroom where he's watching from the other side, okay? Now, the kids is looking around, and they see a phone propped up on the chalkboard with a red light beaming. Okay, he was videotaping them, <laughs> for crying out loud, all right? Now, he's behind this glass doing God knows what, all right? And these kids, they're, hunt they're, they're young, man. They're young, they're horny, they're 16 years old. They got a grown-up telling them they can do whatever they want to do. So, yeah, they do it. And this guy is behind the glass watching the creep, okay? Now... <clears throat> Of course, the kids felt like, you know, after everything was over, they felt violated. Something was wrong there, okay? They came to their senses afterwards, all right, like most of us adults do. But these kids, it took a little minute, all right? It took a little minute for them to come to their senses. They came to their senses, and they started to tell other classmates. The classmates started to tell the teacher. And, of course, the teacher told the principal, who told the police, who arrested Mr. Y. Martinez. Now, Mr. Y. Martinez is locked up right now. While he's locked up in the Miami-Dade County Jail, it comes to find out that he was, actually, he went and pressured one of the 16-year-old, the females, to have sex with her right after she allegedly had sex with the other teen, okay? He apparently came inside of the room Okay, when they were done and tried to coerce her into sexual relations with him. Now, we send our kids to school. We want them to be safe, all right? We don't want them having sex in school, all right, with students or teachers. And you would think that an adult, okay, a grown freaking man would have stopped them, okay, instead of coercing them. All right, using them for his own sexual demon pleasure, all right? It is sick man and you know these men they're lonely and they take it out on these kids and they violate them viciously viciously i mean can you imagine being violated by a teacher that was much much older than you while you were in high school you you might not feel it then while you're 16 but you feel it later on you know you feel it when you get older and how disgusting it is and was you know if it ever happened to you man it's a goddamn disgusting thing man so here's a man who should have been stopping all right, these kids from kissing or hugging or doing whatever the hell they were doing, but and yet and still he coerced them and he gave them a place to do their do, and he even tried to do a do with them. I mean, it's fine. Of course, the guy posted a forty thousand dollars bond. Of course, he had a bond. Uh, he was charged with uh, lewd acts with minors and videotaping them. Okay, so. Uh, you know, that's two felonies that he's going to have to face later on in life, you know what I mean? And I'm hoping that he gets everything he fucking deserves, man. Nobody wants 
their children being uh, abused by someone who was supposed to protect them, someone who's supposed to be looking out for them and doing the right thing for them as a teacher and not coercing them into sex. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But anyway, man, thank you for joining The Real Spill. It's your boy, and I'm out of here. Later. Huh. Yo.